Manifestation can only take 17 seconds. Welcome or welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I am Shika, your conscious mentor, and on this channel, we talk about all things spirituality, wellness, entrepreneurship, and social media for conscious souls like you. I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing a very requested video. I've gotten so many comments on the 17 second manifestation method or technique, and I recently did a video on the 369 method. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. And one of the biggest things with a lot of the aspects of law of attraction, setting and activating your manifestation is coming from this specific secret by Abraham Hicks. And this is called the 17 second manifestation technique. So today I'm going to be talking about why is it so important that you need to use the 17 second manifestation technique in order for you to manifest anything, specific person, money, love, life, anything releasing this is so important in order for us to manifest so i'm going to answer you guys this question and get right into the video so before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe as well as put notification bells i do videos every single day for you amazing beautiful souls and today's subscriber of the day is medina thank you so much for being part of this amazing family and being part of the energy of one million amazing souls that we're going to support in 2020 that i'm so excited for let's get into the 17 seconds manifestation technique. So the first things first is Abraham Hicks, which is one of my favorite, favorite schools of thought to manifestation and law of attraction. She talks a lot about us setting intention, us following our manifestation and what we want to attract in our life by understanding more of what is energy. As I mentioned before in various videos, law of attraction is understanding that thought becomes reality. Thought becomes a thing. And anything that we have in our life is becomes as a thought and then it turns into this energy of a thing. So when we look at something like why is the 17 second manifestation technique so important to you such as for the 369 method, the 555 method, the 333 method, the wheel manifestation method, any manifestation technique you are making, this is so crucial. And the reason why is because it takes 17 seconds in order to activate the manifestation that you want to manifest. So anything that you think of, anything that you want to bring into your life, anything that you want to release, you need to hold that thought in for 17 seconds because with the aspect of quantum physics, the study of energy, the study of how our thoughts and our brain as conscious souls work, it takes 17 seconds for us to hold that thought and to activate that manifestation into our reality. So now that we know why that we need to use the 17 second manifestation technique and why it's so important, this is how you do it. Because I've been having a lot of questions. She goes, do I write down for 17 seconds? Do I say it for 17 seconds? Do I only do it for the 369 method? Do I do it for the 555 method? Whatever it may be, this technique can be used for any method. And this is how you do the 17 second manifestation technique the right way. The first thing you want to do, number one, is treat the 17 second manifestation technique as a ritual. This is a time for you to celebrate, to be in the intention and in the existence of your manifestation. And you want to act this as a ritual. So what I love to do is if you are doing this in the morning, I like to just sit down. I like to set up my space, put some sage, palo santo, maybe put some crystals and have my favorite crystals that I want to put intentions in, have my journal out, my manifestation journal or my written journal out, and I am ready to take that manifestation and claim what is truly mine. So I'm already setting up my environment for existence, and this is so important. If you're doing it at night, one of my favorite ways for big manifestations is I like to take a bath, take a sea salt bath, allow yourself to create this ritual. You don't have to do rituals only for the full moon and new moon. You can do this throughout any other times as well. And I just think that one of the biggest things I always say is health is wealth. Our conscious being, our state, our wellness, the way that we think, our mind is our wealth. That's our abundance. If we're able to put in that space, that existence of lack of self-doubt and remove it completely and allow ourselves to set up for that amazing existence of success for manifestation, we'll be able to tap in during that 17 second manifestation technique. So treat this technique as a ritual. 
Treat it with gratitude. Treat it with excitement. Celebrate this amazing manifestation before you even start. Number two, create the sentence. This is the part that a lot of you guys have been asking questions. Shika, what does it have to be 17 seconds long? Here's the thing. Write down just what comes to you. Any intention. And this will be important for the next few steps, but whatever it is. For example, try to write it out as an affirmation. It makes it easier for you to remember it and easier for you to go back to it as well. So for example, a great affirmation that you can write for 17 seconds if you are manifesting money is money comes to me easily and quickly. I have lots of money in my bank account. I have $10,000 in my bank account and I am so grateful that money flows to me easily and quickly. These are all great affirmations. If I want to manifest a specific person, I am so grateful that whoever this person is, is my boyfriend. I am so grateful for the amazing friendships that I have, that I have the new friends that I've created in my life that have supported me throughout whatever it is. You can also say if you want to attract maybe a specific opportunity. I am so excited for whatever the job is and how excited you are for it. Whatever it may be, emotionally, a thing, a perspective, a peace of mind, whatever you're manifesting, just speak it into present tense and create it as an affirmation. And that will allow you to emotionally hold that vibration and remember what you are bringing into this manifestation and exactly how to activate it. In order to activate it, it has to be said in the present tense. So this is very important. Okay, number three, this is the most important part of the 17 second manifestation technique and why it is so important. You want to hold and sit down in meditation with this 17 second phrase, whatever it may be. Now you're gonna ask, Sheikha, does it have to be 17 seconds? No, but you are holding and you're thinking of that affirmation for 17 seconds, okay? So for example, you're gonna say, money comes to me easily and quickly and I am so grateful. Money comes to me easily and quickly and I am so grateful. Money comes to me easily and quickly and I am so grateful. I want you to think of your one affirmation right now and for 17 seconds, I want you to hold and sit in meditation right now with it. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Okay, now that you've done it for 17 seconds, I wanna ask you this question. Were you able to hold that thought hold that affirmation exactly for 17 seconds? Or did your thoughts or your mind tend to wonder? Now this is where step four will come in. Step four is if you were not able to tap into that thought and stick with that thought for 17 seconds, you need to repeat it again. Why? Because thoughts, whatever our thoughts go, wherever our energy goes is where it will be manifested. So in order for us to activate it, we have to hold ourselves positive in existence of that manifestation for 17 seconds. The power of activating the manifestation has to be done in 17 seconds. So if you aren't able to do this, do this again, hold it, stay with it. And one of my favorite things I like to do is I like to do three deep breaths, five counts in, six counts out before I even tap into my affirmation. And I find for a lot of people who are starting out with their meditation, or maybe they have a very active mind and are just learning how to slow down and be a conscious being that we are, one of the hardest things is slowing down the mind. So to slow it down to ensure that we can have full control of our thoughts to this manifestation, I love to go in the state of being using breath. So if you feel like at this point, now you haven't been able to do step number three and you now have to repeat it, start by breathing in three times, five counts in, six counts out, and do it again. Now, how many times do you do this 17 second manifestation rule? You can do it as many times as you want. Now it depends on the manifestation method. If you are doing the 369 method, then you wanna do it every single time, three times, six times, and then nine times. And again, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my video down below. And if you are doing the 555, then you wanna hold that in while you're writing it down. You wanna write it down and stay with it every single time while you're writing it down as many times for the 555 method. So keep that in mind. You can use the 17 
17 second manifestation technique for anything. But understand that the reason why Abraham Hicks says this is so important is we are igniting our manifestation. We are holding our manifestation. We are holding it in our energy and we are claiming that it is ours. Without activating, we will end up wondering why didn't our manifestation happen? It's because we weren't able to hold that manifestation, activate it, tap it into our consciousness, stamp it into our consciousness and believe with that being in the state of being, not thinking of thoughts or doubts or any other thing, just solely putting our energy towards that. Now imagine how fast we can manifest when we can do that with these other techniques that I share with you, such as the pillow technique, the 555 technique, the 369 method technique. It can be an ultimate game changer manifestation. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you clarification on what exactly is the 17 second manifestation technique and why it is so important in order for us to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the aspect of understanding why Abraham Hicks talks about this and why it's so crucial. I would really suggest you guys checking out her audiobook. It is amazing and she has this great concepts that I also cover here for you guys, but she she does a really good job really talking about the importance for us to focus on that specific manifestation for 17 seconds. So thank you so much for joining the video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments below how you're enjoying this amazing technique. How did it work for you? If you have any questions and say it is so to claim your manifestation. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe as well as put notification bells. I do videos every single day for you amazing, beautiful souls. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so, so much. Bye.